San Francisco District Attorney Brooke Jenkins remained the DA. Following the recall of Chase Boudin, Jenkins was up against three other candidates, including Joe Alioto Veronese, who has criticized the DA, saying that she focuses too much on politics and not enough on action. And here is a look at where that race stands. Brooke Jenkins with 48% of the vote. John Hamasaki, the former police commissioner, with 34% of the vote. KTVU's Amber Lee has been tracking the campaigns for us tonight. She joins us live tonight in San Francisco with the latest. Amber. Mike, we're at Harvey View Restaurant here along San Francisco's Embarcadero. Let me show you what it looks like here. This party is in full swing. There are hundreds of happy supporters of DA Brooke Jenkins. She was appointed to the office, as you may recall, by Mayor London Breed after former DA Chase Boudin was recalled in the June election. Prior to her appointment, Jenkins was the spokesperson for the recall. Tonight, she did not officially claim victory yet, but it certainly sounded like a victory speech. Beach. She spoke with her husband by her side. I want to thank every single San Franciscan that voted. Thank you so much. You represent, you represent the, that the tide has turned in San Francisco, that we can be a democratic city, that we can be a liberal city, but stand for public safety. It certainly feels different that the people have chosen, they have spoken, that they approve of this new way that we're doing the work, that they, that they support the work that we're doing in the way, and my vision for public safety. Now, before the polls close tonight, I also spoke with the other candidates in this DA race. San Francisco really needed an independent prosecutor, somebody who's uh, removed from City Hall, who's separate and uh, willing to uh, take on corruption and crime wherever it, wherever it comes up. Tonight is really a uh, barometer of uh, you know, how voters feel in San Francisco about whether or not they feel safe enough in this city, whether or not our district attorney is, is ethical enough or is, if she's doing enough to in the last four months. We've seen crime, of course, has gone up in the last four months. Uh, so we'll see. Back here, back here live, I recognize many of the faces here. They are supporters of the Boudin recall. Now, there are many well-known faces here. Mayor London Breed just stopped by and left. There was uh, Sheriff Paul Miyamoto and City Attorney David Chu among the many supporters that are here tonight. Early results show that Brooke Jenkins is probably, appears on her way to becoming the city's first black and Latina DA. Mike, Julie. All right, Amber Lee, live tonight in San Francisco. Amber, thank you for that. All right, let's take a look.